Hey guys, Steve from Kiram Sports Recovery here. Want to talk to you about neck pain and how to resolve that. If you've been having neck pain on the back of your neck, if you've been in a car accident, had some whiplash, if you've been getting headaches, uh, a lot of that can come from the back of your neck, those cervical extensors just being really tight and tense. Uh, and then if you've been working on it and you've been getting the ball back there, you've been doing whatever it is to try to release that and it hasn't been working, then you need to be thinking about this. You need to be thinking about the front of your neck, those neck flexors. And it makes a big difference once you release back here to then activate here. So first off, we gotta see, hey, is this important to work on for you? So we do a thing called a neck flexor endurance test. Uh, and it's really easy, you can do it at home. Andrew's gonna demonstrate here. So first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna tuck your chin in, create those double chins. You're gonna look at those lines, or if you're laying down, you can feel for it, so you can put a hand there. Um, once you got that, then you're gonna lift up off the table or the floor about two inches, and you're gonna try and maintain this position. As soon as those creases start to come out, if, you're, if your tuck starts to come out a little bit, stop the timer, that's your time. Normal time for men is about 40 seconds and for women it's about 30 seconds. If you're under those times, then this is something you definitely need to be working on. We'll uh, show you some other videos that go through how to strengthen it and how to improve that neck flexor endurance and strength overall. So thank you for watching, appreciate it. Have a good one. Wanna to talk to you about strengthening your neck flexors that chin tuck position is a great way to start. Uh, if you're really weak and you're really shaken on the neck flexor endurance test, this is a good one to go to right away. So Andrew's gonna demonstrate here. All you're doing, you're keeping the back of the head against the table or the ground wherever you are, and then you're tucking the chin down, maintaining it for 10 seconds, and you're gonna do 10 reps for two sets. So give that one a try. Uh, it's a great place to start, and then if that's a little too easy for you, if you got that one down, then I'm gonna have Andrew show you the next one. You're getting on all fours, so this is a quadruped position. And then again, doing the chin tuck, this one's against gravity, so it's gonna be a little bit harder. I'm gonna have you hold it for 10 seconds and then take a break and do 10 reps for two sets. So try those first two out and then we'll show you some more progressions in the next video. Uh, thank you for watching. If you have a ball at home or an empty milk jug or a water bottle, you can use that, put that behind your head. You're gonna stand with a little gap between you and the wall so you're not leaning into the wall. What you're gonna do is then that chin tuck we've been practicing. And you can hold that position against some of the resistance with the ball. If, that's, if you're feeling good with that, you know there might be some tightness, but that's expected. You can hold that and then practice rotating all the way as far as you can in both directions, holding that chin tuck. If you're feeling good there, you can also practice raising the arms up with the tuck chin still. And bringing those down. If you want to do the worm, you can do that too. So go ahead, try those. Make sure you're maintaining the chin tuck the whole time. Uh, let, let us know what you think. Thank you for watching.